Hi, it's Meg, and today I'm going to talk about how to identify three different early spring Texas wildflowers. I'll show you a close-up of each flower, a little bit about how it got its name, and how to identify it based on its key characteristics. The Indian paintbrush is a really beautiful flower that's found very commonly in pastures and along highways in Texas. Um, it actually gets its name from the fact that the end of the petals generally hold a little bit darker of a color than the rest of the flower, as a, a freshly dipped paintbrush has been seen. Um, additionally, this flower is presenting currently in like a light red, but it can be seen in deep scarlets to um, any variety of lighter red and kind of orangey, all the way to a yellow if, you, if you're lucky, but that isn't quite as common. Um, super gorgeous flower, easy to identify, and all over the place in early spring. The next flower we're going to talk about is called blue-eyed grass. Now its name speaks for itself in that um, it has a brilliant blue, almost indigo petal on top and then its body actually looks just like the grass around it. Um, I'd like to give you a better example of what I'm talking about, however it is surrounded by grass and therefore is making this difficult. But um, yeah, mostly the petals have this brilliant indigo color with a really bright yellow center and they blend right in with the grass. They're gorgeous and they're found uh, very commonly like the Indian paintbrush. As a matter of fact, there's a whole uh, kind of bunch of them together right here. But wonderful flower, very common, um, seen oftentimes along the side of roads and in pastures with lots of sun. This next flower here is called the prairie verbena. It's most characterized by its cluster of small little purple flowers on top and I recognize it also by its kind of strange leaf pattern down below. Um, its Spanish name is really sweet. It's actually called Moradia. Um, I probably pronounced that incorrectly, but that translates to little purple one in homage of its little flowers on top. Um, this particular one is purple, the prairie verbena. However, there are over 3,000 species of this little guy, so um, they can range in all different sorts of colors, but this is the one that we have around us.